Hi everyone, I want you to take a look at the CMS and tell me if you can spot a refresher. Just to give you a little more background, this set of CMS has been imported from outside doctor's office. It was taken with a sensor along with a round collimator. This is a type of um, um, an, a what should I say a technique error that we don't normally see at our school you're seeing rounded cone cut images right so look at these two images these are examples of rounded cone cut round cone cut whereas here at the school we use rectangular collimator in order to prevent the radiation exposure or excessive radiation pr uh, dose to our patient but in th obviously on this example you can visualize that the ra rectangular collimator was not used. This patient fell um, about three years ago from what I was told and uh, she ended up getting extensive dental work done to restore the teeth in the anterior maxilla. By now if you saw horizontal fracture or you can say fracture on uh, this particular tooth you'd be absolutely correct so why don't I zoom in and look at this periapical radiograph more carefully you see the overall shape of the root first premolar at the same time there's a thin radiolucent line that is ex extending from the mesial side all the way to the distal surface of the root Despite this horizontal roof fracture, the patient is asymptomatic, the vitality is normal, so, and there is no symptom whatsoever associated with this tooth. Uh, luckily, from what I can tell, uh, there is not extensive, there is no evidence of severe bone loss on this particular tooth, uh, as far as what I can tell. Yes, it's, this is not the ideal bite wing radiograph, but you can see that the crest comes up pretty close to uh, where we expect it to be. Obviously just distal to that we've lost a significant amount of bone as we would expect uh, ridge undergoing normal atrophy after the extraction. Also recognize that the sinus floor has come down significantly or that the ridge has lost significantly so that the crest is now consistent with the floor of the maxillary sinus. If you're ever to place an implant in this, carry, in this area, you'd need some type of sinus lift procedure to increase the height of the ridge. Another area that I want you to pay close attention is look at the severe, severity of the attrition that is um, visualized in the anterior mandible. Teeth have lost a significant portion of its crown and what I've been told from the student is that this was not uh, present at the time of the injury but only after these crowns were placed now the patient has grinded away literally grinded away the crowns of the mandibular teeth this should um, I guess one lesson to take away from this observation is that when you do extensive dental work whether it's full mouth rehabilitation, um, you need to check the occlusion. Check to make sure canine guidance or group function is established and also for protrus protrusive motion you want to make sure that it's a, an ideal uh, occlusion otherwise this is what can happen a couple years down the road. Literally grinding away the teeth, destroying the uh, dentition, and many of these teeth can lead to pulpal exposure and imagine after having spent tens of thousands of dollars now you need another tens of thousands of dollars to restore these lower teeth uh, perhaps even needing endodontic treatment you can imagine how quickly the treatment cost uh, is gonna go up another interesting area that I want to point out is this metallic fixture that you can see at the edge of this posterior PA. You can clearly see the bars as well as the screws and um, 
now I'm going to show you another imported image on this patient and that is reconstructed panoramic image from a CBCT scan so now we can visualize the full extent of the maxillofacial uh, region and you can see that this patient must have sus sustained jaw fracture hence um, this metallic fixture uh, is visualized so I want you to note that I want you to see the attrition and the horizontal fracture root fracture that we saw on periapical radiograph so that's it for this particular example hope you're having a great day and take care bye